correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Jordan was eliminated in the first round. He was. In 1985, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 1986, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 1987, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 1988, Jordan was eliminated in the third round. In 1989, he was eliminated in the third round. In 1994, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 2001, Jordan doesn't make playoffs. In 2002, Jordan doesn't make the playoffs with the Washington Wizards. Right. Could you explain those facts? It seems a little bit heavy for easy, Mr. Jordan. Easy work. This is easy work right now. Easy work. 84, he was going up against all time. He was he, he was going against a bunch of people who was who was cokeheads. He was a rookie. Who expects a rookie to carry a team? Nobody. Maybe by, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, a couple years in, he gets some players. All right. But he's going against the all-time great uh, uh, Boston Celtics in all those years. The all-time great Detroit Pistons in all those years. But as soon as he got over the hump, you know what I'm saying, you conveniently skip. 91, 92, 93. You know what I'm saying? Conveniently skipped. He retired in 90, came back halfway. He was at halfway in shape in 94. But guess what he did? 95, 96, 97. Conveniently skipped. And then he retired. I was, what is it? 96, 97, 98? Same thing. Whatever. And then he retired. Your points are moot right now. I mean, that's just a little, a little, little easy explanation. That's an easy one. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. When LeBron James leaves the team, they become a high school roster. <laughs> and now, let's go to the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm here not to tell you why Michael Jordan isn't a great player. I think Michael- You got freaking- we got light skin Cornell West in the background over here. Okay. Jordan is all time great. Jump man. You know what I mean? Shoes. I got a ton of Jordans. Space Jam. I believe I can fly. Mm -hmm. Man, the Gatorade commercials. Wanna be I like think Mike? Jordan, every time I think Gatorade, man, I think the McDonald's commercials with Larry Bird playing horse. Incredible branding. None of that shit has anything to do with basketball, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that elevates his status. It ain't got to have nothing to do with basketball. It's, it's got an elevation of status. Today... You don't want to get to the basketball court, though. I'm going to let me listen to the Who's the greater basketball player? The nigga with the endorsements or the nigga with all the stats? I'm not going to get into LeBron James' philanthropy. We all know about the school. Uh, Michael Jordan uh, gives back. Not really. Um, <laughs> top, but we don't want to talk about that. I want to keep it solely on the court. And maybe if people pay attention today, they will stop trying to be like Mike. Because who wants to be the second best of all time? Amazing. The defense rests. Amazing. By the way, are you wearing Michael Jordans now? No, 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 no. These are, these are Air Force Ones. Got it. The reason I don't um, wear LeBrons is because he makes an actual basketball shoe, and <laughs> I don't hoop. So, <laughs> I, you know, I dress for comfort. You know what I mean? I do. Thank you, Mr. Davis. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Tony Baker, opening statement, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Go. Everybody loves to say it now. It's the thing to say. Oh, that's the go. You the go. You can be the goat of anything. Pumping gas. <laughs> you the goat on pump five, man. You drive off and live your little life after that. It's overused. Everybody wants to be the goat at everything. True that. True that. True that. Everybody's not great. Michael Jordan is. We all know this. Everybody that has come after Michael Jordan is trying to be Michael Jordan, Facts. including LeBron James. What's his jersey number? 23. Who had that jersey number? My Jordan. <laughs> hey, 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 let me be in space, Jam. Okay, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> we all know what happens to movies when they get recast. They bomb. <laughs> Remember Home Alone 3? You don't! <laughs> because it wasn't Kevin. Remember High 
house party full with immature? Bomb. Barbie. Where's Kid and Play? Yeah, you got the Looney Tunes pulling up, but where's Jordan? We don't want no soft cameo, okay? Cameos don't always work. Look at coming to America, too. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time because he transcended the sport. Now, Brian Davis is gonna probably slaughter me up with stats, numbers, figures, all this gobbledygook of just numbers <laughs> nobody cares about unless you get paid by the NBA or Sports Center. Who are we talking about? Who do we say when we shooting trash in the trash Kobe. can? Jordan, don't nobody say LeBron. <laughs> you want to say LeBron, but Wait, you what? got to dunk that trash in there and everybody can't dunk. <laughs> we say Kobe, we don't even say Jordan. You're meniscus <laughs> in accounts receivable <laughs> trying to be LeBron. LeBron was built for the sport. Look at it, look at his height, look at his build, look at his weight. He's destined for greatness. Jordan is tall, but you know he was getting manhandled out there. Slung around in a different time. The 80s on the basketball court. Oh yeah, they was throwing body. blows. That was the hood. That was the swap meet. The pistons of the 1980s had brass knuckles, knives, nunchucks <laughs> on the court. Jordan was still out there, but we're gonna get into all of that. Okay, we all know what it is. If you want to talk about numbers, Jordan has them. As soon as he came in the game, he came in with numbers. He came in with numbers like the count on Sesame Street. <laughs> I'm here to prove to you, without a shadow of a doubt, that Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Tony Baker did not come to fuck around. <laughs> Cancel Court will be right back. Gotta love the pageantry. Cause that's what he's gonna try to sell you on. He's gonna talk about Michael Jordan like this nigga is Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> but let's look at the facts. Everybody knows what evolution is, right? As time goes on, people get better at things. The playing field gets harder, gets greater. Michael Jordan played a lot of white guys. And let's be honest, that's not what the NBA at its toughest actually looks like. Dang. LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. Pretty James good. Harden. You can name some of the greatest two guards and small forwards to ever play the game. You know who they played against? LeBron. You know who Michael Jordan played against? You gonna say Plumlee? Dan Marley. Craig Elo. <laughs> you hear me? Like Danny Ainge. <laughs> Bro, put some respect on Danny uh, Ainge. Are we being serious? These were starters, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the competition was stiff <laughs> for Michael Jordan. All these great guards he had to overcome to be great. He never even had real competition at his position. The best two guard that he ever played against in his prime was Reggie Miller, who only shoots threes. <laughs> Reggie Miller is six foot seven, and there's no dunk recorded of Reggie Miller in his entire career. That was his greatest athletic competition through the prime of his career. Let's be serious. LeBron James has made it to the finals. 10 times in 17 years. And he lost to a light Some people would ball. go, oh my God, but, but Jordan won six. six. Three ball. Yeah, he went six. That's it, just six. <laughs> and he just so happened to be on the better team six times. But you let Jordan fans tell you, Jordan was the only nigga on the court <laughs> playing five on one. <laughs> he never lost, ever. He played 15 years, has six rings, but never lost. You figure out that math, that shit makes no sense to me. <laughs> Sounds like a nigga lost nine times, but I could be incorrect. It's sad, I pointed out the competition that he had to play against. People act like he didn't have anybody to play with. Like Scottie Pippen wasn't as great as Scottie Pippen is. 
When Jordan was there, they won 57. This nigga left. They won 55 games and was a bad call away from going back to the finals without this nigga. When LeBron James leaves a team, they become a high school roster. <laughs> it is a fact. If the team, think about this, the team without him can't make the playoffs. Team with him in the finals. I'm sure if he joined a 55 win team without him, that they'd win the finals. Imagine having 55 win team and then add you, the best player in the league. If you don't win the title, nigga, who are you? <laughs> Scottie Pippen was an MVP candidate. MVP candidate when Jordan left. They were like, yeah, but all he had was Pippen. Soon as Jordan left, Horace Grant became an all-star. B.J. Armstrong became an all-star. Oh yeah, both them niggas was on the team Jordan played on, by the way. Technically, they had four all-stars, but the nigga ball hogged so much, two of the niggas couldn't make it. Damn. That is the truth about Jordan. Oh, snap. That's all I'm saying. It's the myth. <sighs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> the defense rest. Oh shit. Ryan Davis is back in his bag. Been waiting for this. <laughs> he brings up Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is probably my favorite NBA player of all time. What? You don't win that many championships without Scottie Pippen. But he was homegrown organically. LeBron out here looking for the best players so I can win a championship. These theatrics is amazing. Because yes, he's gone to the championship 10 times and won four. Four and 10. That's failure. <laughs> <laughs> Any way you slice it. You take a 10 question quiz, you get four right. You he failed. failed. <laughs> Nice showing up to the big game, but if you don't take home the big ring, what does it mean? Nobody cares. Thanks for showing up. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that ring. And we all know the East was shaky. LeBron just coming every year, it got boring. They call him not clutch for a reason. He wasn't getting it done. <laughs> Jordan got it done every time. Are oh, we in the finals? I'm gonna get it done. And he got it done. Three Pete, right? Jordan was so good. White Sox was like, hey, man, you know, you play baseball? <laughs> Come through. He's like, all right, you know. He on the baseball team. Chill. <laughs> Jordan came back and won three in a row. You know how hard it is to win three championships in a row? LeBron don't know what that feels like. Because he can never do it. He can never get it done. He hasn't got it done yet. I mean, here and there, yeah, I won here, and then I took next year I lost. Here's the thing about Jordan, man. He left, came back. Jordan made basketball interesting to people that could care less about basketball. The whitest of the whitest individuals of all time was like, Jordan. <laughs> he was the reason the USA basketball team went to the Olympics. Like, we, we ain't gonna do it without Jordan. Jordan's like, all right, I'll do it. Now nah, it's cracking overseas, man. This is what Jordan did. Jordan is a beast. LeBron is good, but he, you know, he'd be flopping. Overselling the fouls, making it a soft NBA game. You know what I'm saying? Jordan was taking the hits. He's the, the reason for yeah, the soft league. But that's what they do. When you get a foul called on you, like Oakley, he would stab somebody on the court and be like, what, what, ref? What do you mean? What do you mean, blood on the knife? Pancreas pieces all on the blade. He was like, what you talking about, ref? That's the culture he came up in. You know why Jordan's eyes are so red on that little documentary? <laughs> because he was getting a beat in the face. He was, nah, he was smoking a lot of, he smoking a lot of cigars. I ain't gonna lie to you. He's laser focused. He's a killer. He don't care about nothing but winning. LeBron out here looking for who's hot. Yo, Kyrie, hey man, let's link up, man. I just need a little bit of help. Come on, y'all. Jordan was like, hey man, y'all come to me. I ain't going nowhere. And they was like, all right. And Pippen came in. He was a baby deer coming into the league. He was like, his Thanks. knees were slamming together. <laughs> Turned into one of the best players of all time, organically. It's easy to be like, yeah, we winning now because you're getting the hottest players on the streets. Mm. 
I was Bulls guy, we was like, yeah, we take Rodman, because he's a killer. He robbed people in alleyways after every <laughs> NBA game. He didn't give a damn, man. He had herpes, chlamydia, syphilis, all at the same time. <laughs> he was beating Best Shaq up. Of all time. Anybody who's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shaq, man, you can be on my team. Recently passed it, but best record of all time. Speaks for itself. Come on, now. Jordan, man. His career average is over 30 points a game. Career average. Jordan is a killer. He creates other killers. Kobe Bryant is another laser-focused, legendary killer. Because he was a carbon copy of Michael Jordan that was born from Jordan. He would create a whole storyline just to beat the other team. Oh, you ain't gonna say what's up to me? <laughs> All right, 43 points that night. He created personal vendettas to win the game. LeBron living too good now. He ain't got no vendettas. The only vendetta he got is that receding hairline. <laughs> That's his only vendetta, the shoe pop. He trying to be buddy buddy with everybody. Jordan's That's bald right. and proud, and that makes me proud. I rest my case. I, I, before you take your seat, I have a, I have a question that I wanted to ask you because yes. it's interesting that life mm -hmm. um, before Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman was a little bit rough. So I'm going to read you some facts that was entered into the court Cute case that I want you to speak on and talk mm -hmm. about. It says here. I hate that you're going there because that was my next point. Let me know if these facts are correct. In 1984, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Jordan was eliminated in the first round. He was. In 1985, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 1986, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 1987, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 1988, Jordan was eliminated in the third round. In 1989, he was eliminated in the third round. In 1994, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 2001, Jordan doesn't make the playoffs. In 2002, Jordan doesn't make the playoffs with the Washington Wizards. Right. Could you explain those facts? It seems a little bit heavy for easy, Mr. Jordan. Easy work. This is easy work right now. Easy work. 84. He was going up against all time. He was he, he was going against a bunch of people who was who was cokeheads. He was a rookie. Who expects a rookie to carry a team? Nobody. Maybe by you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, a couple years in, he gets some players. All right. But he's going against the all-time great uh, uh, Boston Celtics in all those years. The all-time great Detroit Pistons in all those years. But as soon as he got over the hump, you know what I'm saying? You conveniently skip. 91, 92, 93. You know what I'm saying? Conveniently skipped. He retired in 90, came back halfway, he was at halfway in shape in 94. But guess what he did? 95, 96, 97, conveniently skipped. And then he retired. Oh, what is it? 96, 97, 98, same thing. Whatever. And then he retired. Your points are moot right now. I mean, that's just a little, a little easy explanation. That's an easy one. In 2001, 2002, man was 40 years old. I mean, 40 years old and had hella miles on his knees. And he was still nice with it. Underrated years. Those facts, it seems a little bit heavy for easy, Mr. Jordan. Easy work, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, you need a good team, okay? Jordan needed a solid team. So you could be like, oh, well, but LeBron didn't need a team to go to the championship and lose. You're still a loser. <laughs> Whether you go to the playoffs <laughs> and get out early, okay. What does that really mean? He didn't make it as far, so what? LeBron didn't win those championships. The goal of an NBA season. He's the, one of the nicest superstars that ever came along to a fault. He wants everybody to like him. That's not the way to dominate the era. He's dominating like, it's like leading from the back or something like that. <laughs> he, he, he definitely wants everybody to like him, but only, only so that their defenses are down, so that they don't play as hard against you in the finals. Kevin Durant wouldn't go for that. Playoffs. That wouldn't go for that the either. The goal is to win a championship. LeBron can go to the final game all day and night. Did you win? <laughs> when the confetti's coming down and they Did kissing and pouring champagne, LeBron was in the locker room getting dressed. <laughs> until he manufactured some star players to come around him just to give him that little boost that he needed. <laughs> he talking about Jordan only played with white players. But Hakeem Olajuwon? Are you kidding me? He won, Isaiah Thomas? He won, the, both of them won chips against Jordan. Magic Johnson? 
he also won one. Order is important, I'm Mr. Sorry. Davis. Who was on the <laughs> Lakers squad when Jordan won his first championship? Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. <laughs> I risk my case, you know? Cancel Court will be right back. My opponent is formidable, you know? Makes a lot of points. He would like you to believe that coming in second is the same as coming in 12th. I think we would all agree that that's a lie. <laughs> Getting blown out isn't the same as being close to victory, all right? Now, we talk about who Jordan beat and all of this stuff, right? Never beat Larry Bird. Larry Bird doesn't even know what it's like to lose to Jordan. He has no fucking idea. Larry Bird, all time, all time. When everybody's like, yeah, Jordan beat me, he was just like, really? Never got a game, not a single game against the Boston Celtics. Nobody ever brings that up. He's not a loser somehow for that. Tried to shit on Horace Grant. Horace Grant, I told you, dropped the 18 and 11. How many players is dropping 18 and 11 now? Not a lot. But after he did that, what did Jordan do? Hey, Dennis, we need you. That nigga killing us. And he went out and recruited a two-time defensive player of the year. One of the greatest rebounders in NBA history. How great? Since 1979, um, I believe uh, about 16, 17 rebounds a game has been done five times since 1979. You know, know all the players who did that? Just Dennis. <laughs> You added that nigga to the team, and we're going to act like, oh, Dennis was nobody. Also has five rings, by the way, two of which he won by beating Jordan on the way there. <laughs> Jordan went and got a nigga he couldn't beat to join his team. If you can't beat him, join him, I guess. <laughs> then they go 72 and 10, and they end up beating the Supersonics in the finals. They asked the coach of the Supersonics, George Carl, what happened? Does he say Michael Jordan was unstoppable? Nope. Says, we can't keep Dennis Rodman off the glass, and it's killing us. <laughs> Never heard that one before. I give you that But one. Michael Jordan, boy, he sure can score. You're right. He can score. He really can score. He led his team in points all the time. You know, and that's way better than Scotty. Who led the team in rebounds, assists, uh, steals, blocks? He had every statistical category better than Jordan, except points. You know who LeBron's second best player had more than him? Nothing. I remember him losing to the Golden State Warriors, where he was going in with a guy named Matthew Della Vadova. Know who he is? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> Kyrie got hurt and Kevin Love got hurt. I ain't in that for series, that. LeBron didn't lead his team. Led every player who played in the series in points, rebounds, blocks, assists, steals. Not in a game. For the entire series. That, do you know there's niggas in the league just to rebound? Just to block? Just to steal? He did, just to score. Nobody did more than this nigga in every statistical category, and he lost. And my opponent would allow you, will want you to believe, just don't have what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're overrating these stats, boy. These stats is statting, boy, right now, I tell you. You overrating these stats, boy. I, it's the myth for me, man. Is that elementary? Constantly elementary they analysis. Want you to believe that Michael Jordan. What about the second level and third level advanced stats? What they got to say? Jordan is magical. He's magical. Speaking of magic, you're right. He did beat Magic Johnson. After he got in eight. the first championship he won. You ever ask Magic Johnson why they lost? When you interview him, what did he say? Well, Scottie Pippen decided to pick him up full court. He made it very difficult for us to run. They were called the Showtime Lakers. If they're not able to run, there's no show. He didn't say Michael Jordan shut us down. He said, that nigga Scottie Pippen <laughs> stopped me from doing anything. <laughs> but if you ask a Jordan fan, 
He was out there by himself. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's be serious. He's an incredible scorer. I give him that. That man can really score. He can really score. Matter of fact, he's higher than LeBron James. On no, he's not higher than <laughs> LeBron James on the scoring list. Did you know LeBron passed him with less shots? Wait till you look at the stats. LeBron James has a higher field goal percentage, has a higher three-point percentage. These is dunks, and they wasn't shooting the three back then. And how many, how many games did it take him? Percentage. But I thought all he do is dunk. How is he a better long-distance shooter than your airness, your goat? See, people just want you to believe in the myth. LeBron James is the greatest athlete I've ever seen, period. Y'all remember Larry Hughes? That's a joke. <laughs> Larry Hughes averaged 14 points a game and only played half of that series in the finals. He didn't even have his second best guy, who was barely any a second best guy. <laughs> Michael Jordan, though, who did he have? People like to say he added Dennis Rodman. Do you know he also added Tony Kukoc, who was considered the best European player or the best foreign player in the entire world at the time? He was nice. He also had Ron Harper, who was averaging 20 points a game, almost 20 points a game when he came down to the Bulls. And once Michael Jordan came, then he had to give his shots away. So his stats doesn't look as good as it once was. That's cool. I understand that. He also had Steve Kerr. You know what Steve Kerr is? Shoot that Statistically thing. Statistically the most accurate three-point shooter in the history of basketball. Man, they should have got Jordan some help. These <laughs> niggas suck. <laughs> LeBron James, whenever he leaves a team, they turn into a soccer team. Not even basketball. You know what I like about my truths? They're so hard that the bailiff is choking on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She's like, this is a lot to take. You're right. And I understand. Get her some water. Just, just grab that water. The water? You can help her out. No, no, no. I got her. I got her because I did it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Won't you tell him about the magical shoes? <laughs> he puts on and he flies through the air. Because, you know, they'll say that LeBron James is athletically gifted. Like Jordan doesn't dunk from the free throw line in the 80s and like everybody was doing that. They called him Air Jordan. They called him that because everybody jumped like that? Of course not. None of the white guys he was playing against <laughs> jumped like that. <laughs> LeBron James, 10 finals appearances. David Black, Tyron Lue, Eric Spolstra. I don't even know the name of the coach of the Lakers right now. And that nigga got a ring because of LeBron James. Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel. Five coaches have made it to the finals due to LeBron James. Is that Mike Brown? Phil Jackson, did he ever win rings without Michael Jordan? Of course he did. Has any of LeBron James coaches sniffed a ring since this nigga been on the team? Absolutely not. Hold on. I object, you Eric Spolstra made it to the finals. Who'd he lose to? But LeBron James, nigga, what are you talking I about? Object. He sniffed the ring. Yo. No, no, <laughs> he no. sniffed the ring. No, that's, uh-uh. That was sniffing distance, yo. <laughs> Series wasn't even close. Calm down. Series wasn't even close. He was there. <laughs> Michael Jordan got Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant. You know what Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant were? Lottery picks, both of them, top 10 in the draft. Do you know how bad your team has to be? to get top 10 in the draft, <laughs> LeBron has no idea. <laughs> but let my opponent tell you, Scottie Pippen was bow-legged and uncoordinated <laughs> before he came to the Bulls. <laughs> I guess so, man. Uh, six rings is great, man. Six rings is great. I have no argument for that. Bill Russell got 11, though and you ain't making an argument for him. The defense rest. Damn, LeBron <laughs> might have to cut this nigga a check. Cancel court, we'll be right back. Mr. Baker, closing statements, please. Bill Russell knows how to go to a championship game and actually win. Bill Russell has gone to the big game, how many times, 12? 13, I believe, 12 or 13. 12, yeah. 13, right? Yeah. One 11 of them. Yeah. Bill Russell knows how to go to the big game 
and win with the passing score. Played a lot of white guys. It doesn't matter. Mm. You go to win the championship. <laughs> we can make this about race, but that's a different uh, courtroom issue. Throwing in the white, oh, the white guys are trash, and then you praise a white guy to make your point stronger. Larry Bird, very interesting. That's the white guy. The ultimate white guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> he mentioned Jordan getting swept in the playoffs. That's never happened to LeBron? Finals. Has LeBron never been swept in the finals? Yes, in the finals. Okay, he was swept. Yeah. The broom was brought out. The custodian with the big ass keys came and collected his <laughs> Yes. The greatest of all time. Swept in the finals. Yeah. Has Jordan never been swept in the finals? Well, you gotta get there. Has Jordan <laughs> You gotta get there to be swept. Has Jordan ever been swept? He ain't even go to a game in seven. The no, the Bulls were not swept no, no, in the no, finals. No, no extras, no salt, no seasoning salt, <laughs> no sea salt, no parsley. Has he ever been swept in the big game? No. Even when he opened it up, he was like, let's take everything else off the table and focus on basketball because he knew that Jordan's greatness transcends the game. Jordan's, Jays. That's just synonymous with life now. Oh, you got the Jays on? It's a goddamn now. <laughs> you forget that it's attached to a human being, right? I see you out here with the J's on. Everybody's uplifted when you got the J's on. The LeBrons, a lot of people can't even recognize them. What are the, oh, those are LeBrons? Oh, how come he's got shoes? Cool. LeBron is a fantastic individual, great family man. Jordan probably don't even care about his kids. I don't even know. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us. It's not my family anyway. Whether he was a good dad or a bad dad, his eyes are red. I don't know nothing about him. <laughs> He's an asshole. He smokes cigars. LeBron is a role model. He's great. He cares about the black community. He's dope on the court and off. Great individual, great teammate, and absolutely amazing. But goddamn Michael Jordan. He changed our lives. LeBron want to make something that hot, he's going to have to bring out a shoe polish for the hair. <laughs> the shoe polish sevens. Is it Carmelo? Yeah, LeBron, LeBron passed Carmelo, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't Jordan <laughs> play against Carmelo <laughs> and beat him? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. But no, but, but, but I you let him tell it. I object. Order in the court. John you Stockton, Jerk Hornacek, Greg Ostertag were all starters on that team. Who, Three white guys. Who's number two on the scoring chart? <laughs> Is it Hornacek? <laughs> Is it John Stockton with his assists? It's Carl Malone's big ass. His big <laughs> black <laughs> country ass. <laughs> Stop painting this picture that Jordan was up against a segregated team from the <laughs> South the whole NBA time. Like he was playing the Klan by himself. <laughs> Don't you do that, Ryan Davis. You do a disservice to the legends in the game, the black legends. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Thank you, Your Honor. That concludes this case. At this time, I am ordering the jury, the people, to make a sound decision based off the evidence you received, you're going to decide who's the greatest a of all time. Is it Michael Jordan, who is represented by Mr. Tony Baker, or is it LeBron James, who is represented by Mr. Ryan Davis? With that being said, we're going to get this debate canceled permanently today. Come on, all LeBron's those in still favor playing. of LeBron, raise your right hand and say aye. 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 All right. All those who are in favor of Michael Jordan being the greatest of be all time, in. say aye. Aye. According to this court and the jury, peers, it appears that LeBron James is considered oh the greatest God. of all time. <laughs> the debate ends here. Court is adjourned. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's a lot. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you. This is Malaki. I feel great about what we were able to accomplish today. Nah, that was good stuff, man. It's good I stuff. I want you guys to remember. He actually said some stuff I ain't even. LeBron being the greatest player of all time. I even know. Has absolutely nothing to do with Michael Jordan's greatness. So, 
I feel like the verdict was trash. When we talk about <laughs> the greatest of all time, there would have been no Jordan without Dr. J. There would be no LeBron without Jordan. I feel like those people that were on the fence, I could have swayed them with one more go up. Just like there would be no Denzel Washington without Sidney Poitier. So uh, I feel kind of played. But let's not pretend that Denzel Washington isn't better than Sidney Poitier. But I, I'll say it again. Jordan is the greatest of all time. Michael Jordan is a major part of the culture. What he did was phenomenal for the sport. But to act like LeBron James isn't the best player you've ever seen in your life. It's just hate. It's just LeBron? hate if you don't think that Le if you don't think LeBron James is the best player that you've ever seen, then it's just hate. <laughs> See now that's when they go too far. You've gone too far. You've you you've 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 crossed over a ledge that I just I just will not go. I cannot go there. Mm mm. I've seen too much. I know too much. LeBron can be that. He's just not there yet. And today we were able to put an end to that hate. And isn't that what justice is? I can't do it. I won't do it. It's still Jordan's the GOAT all day.